this is a greenhouse control and controls everything in the house. And what I've done is, and what we're doing is putting all of our greenhouses, hoop houses um, on the cloud, which means they're all online and we can control them all online. We don't have to come into the house. All the information that this is collecting, temperature, humidity, when it's turning equipment on and off, that's all gonna be in the cloud for all our houses from now on. And I thought it was gonna be really expensive. Um, the company that sells this, I grow uh, Link4, um, they sell some pretty expensive wireless connectors for this. Um, but I just went into on Amazon and just got some really cheap stuff, just 25 bucks. And I'm gonna show you inside what that looks like. Right. So inside there's a communication module. And uh, I think they now come standard on the iGrow. The old ones you had to buy one. Uh, but this is now standard. The only thing I bought was this, 25 bucks. And all it is, is it converts uh, this signal, your ethernet signal to Wi-Fi, and just connects to the router on the farm. Uh, we have a pretty good router, uh, so it works really well. And then this just plugs in. Um, so for 25 bucks, we just take our iGrow and now we have it online. And, and the great thing about that is now I can make any changes or adjustments wearing my pajamas, eating breakfast. No joke, and that's really cool. I mean, if you geek out about this stuff, that's really cool. So if the humidity is really high in the house, then from my pajamas or when we're out for brunch, and recently we were going out for uh, brunch a lot, um, because we have more time on the farm, just because of, of efficiency improvements like this, that if I see something in the house, I can see what equipment's on, then maybe I can go through a dehumidifying cycle where I'm just opening the vents and turning the fans on, um, and just be able to do anything I want from the comfort of home or being out, being on vacation, um, it will also tell me if the power goes out. So then I'll know that something, you know, that I want getting any more data and it will send a notification. So not only can you control everything, but you can get notifications about too high humidity, too cold, too hot, um, you know, whatever you want. And also if you wanted to put in backup heat or something, all you have to do is connect this to an outlet have your backup heater plugged in and you can turn it on from anywhere you want or you can have the iGrow do it and you can check to make sure it's doing that. It's just really, really, really cool. Um, we want to have, I want to have everything online. It just makes life so much easier. I also have a backup detector. So not only is this going to report on low temperatures or high temperatures, but I also have a temp stick that uh, does that as well. Um, so I'll put the uh, list of this equipment down below and you can, you know, be able to get it. And if you have an iGrow, you can uh, upgrade yours. And if you don't have one, it's just another reason to, you know, move away from uh, cheap controllers that don't do much. Um, and over time, they, they end up costing more than uh, one of these. The more thermostats you have to add, the inconsistencies that they fight each other all the time uh, you know two thermostats are never reading the same temperature you know this is one uh, nice temperature sensor and humidity sensor um, and so this is just another reason why uh, to move towards centralized control for your greenhouse you know totally awesome